Hello there! I've recently made some shorts where I tried to pull tons of boats on leads over different terrain, and the result was pretty impressive. But how reliable and how useful is this method really? I used three different tests for the boats. In the first test, I sprinted 50 blocks in a straight line on flat terrain. The second test was pulling boats up a small hill. And finally, I hauled the boats straight up a scaffolding tower. The last test was the most surprising. I didn't even think that would work. Now let me start by saying that all these tests were completely genuine. I did not fudge or manipulate any of the results. What you saw was real. I really managed to pull 13 boats up the scaffolding. But what you didn't see was the in-between bits and all the prep. So let's go back to my test area and find out where the real problems are. The uphill test was definitely the most tricky one. I only managed to pull three boats up the hill. After that I always lost a few and I always went in a straight line. Let me show you what happens when you go up a real hill with slightly more uneven edges. Aha! Uh -huh, the boats get stuck really easily. But that doesn't mean boats on leads are bad. This method is still a heck of a lot better than railways or pistons. And if you lose your boat, it's pretty easy to find again. After all, it doesn't wander off or something, so you just put the lead back on and continue. Sprinting on the flat was a bit more straightforward. I managed to get up to 10 boats going without much trouble, but I made sure I always lined up all my boats nicely so they faced forwards. And here is what happens if your boats are all higgledy-piggledy. Yep, we lost a few, they all get tangled up and that is usually the end of the journey for some of them. The other thing you've probably noticed is that my track is straight, so there is minimal chance of the boats bunching up. But watch what happens when I try to turn. Aha, uh -huh, big mess. So, as the number of boats increased, I started losing more and more boats on this turn and that meant I had to line them up all manually before I could go up this hill and that was a bit of a pain. But that was a really tight turn. So just to test this, here is a gentle slalom track. I have seven boats lined up. Let's go! And there you have it. I, I, I lost most of them. So let's just try three. Maybe seven was too much. Okay, let's go and yep. Okay, so three worked. That wasn't too bad. So when you use this trick in survival, definitely keep the numbers of boats down. And finally, the scaffolding test. Now that was a genuine surprise. I had expected this to be really, really hard, but actually turned out to be the easiest test of them all. It seemed to matter very little that all the boats were bunched up. As long as they end up sitting on a bit of scaffolding or on top of another boat, everything seems hunky-dory. Oh my god, just look at this unholy mess of villages and boats. It's hilarious. But they've all lost their jobs because they're quite far from their workstations now. On the other hand, they seem to be having a party here. They look really happy. So what, what can you say? Villagers, right? Okay, you're free, boys. Your job is done. You can go home now. Check out this next video if you want to see more cool boat hacks. And until then, have a hippy-dippy day. Bye-bye.